Semprify, everyone. I'm your host, United States Marine Corps veteran and living historian, Recon Jack. On today's episode, I will honor retired Marine Colonel Mitchell Page, who received the Medal of Honor for heroism above and beyond the call of duty during the battle for Henderson Field and the Guadalcanal campaign during World War II. Mitchell Page was born 31 August 1918 in Charleroi, Pennsylvania. His parents were ethnic Serbs, immigrants from the Glenna region. Page's mother kept him and his brother in touch with their roots, reminding them of the Battle of Kosovo, but also told them to be proud Americans. His family later moved to the Camden Hills neighborhood of West Mifflin, and he graduated from McKeesport High School. Page enlisted in the Marine Corps on 1 September 1936 at Baltimore, Maryland, and completed his boot camp training at Paris Island, South Carolina. In November 1936, he was transferred to Quantico, Virginia, and later served as a gunner aboard the USS Wyoming. While aboard the Wyoming, Page took part in maneuvers via Panama to San Clemente Island off the coast of California. In February 1937, he was transferred to Mare Island Navy Yard for guard duty, and two months later was ordered to Cavite in the Philippine Islands. While there, Page became a member of the All-Navy Marine Baseball Team, which gained prominence throughout the islands and the Orient. He served in China from October 1938 to September 1939, and during his tour he guarded American property during the famous Tinchin Flood. Page left North China and returned to the U.S. in April 1940 for guard duty at the Brooklyn and Philadelphia Navy Yards. In September, he rejoined the 5th Marine Regiment at Quantico, and the following month, participated in maneuvers at Guantanamo Bay, Cuba, and Calibra, Puerto Rico. In March 1941, Page was transferred back to the U.S. and ordered to New River, North Carolina, to help construct and prepare a new Marine Corps training base, which later became Camp Lejeune. After the Imperial Japanese attack of Pearl Harbor on 7 December, he was sent again overseas with the 7th Marine Regiment and landed at Apia, British Samoa. From Samoa, the 7th Marines landed on Guadalcanal in September 1942. On 26 October, Page earned the nation's highest decoration for valor, the Medal of Honor, during the battle for Henderson Field as part of the Guadalcanal campaign when he made a desperate stand against Japanese troops after they had broken through the lines and killed or wounded all of the other 33 Marines in his machine gun section. Platoon Sergeant Page fired his machine gun until it was destroyed then moved from gun to gun, keeping up a withering fire until he finally received reinforcements. Page later led a bayonet charge that drove the Japanese back and prevented a breakthrough in American lines. While on Guadalcanal, he was commissioned a second lieutenant in the field on 19 December 1942. Page remained on Guadalcanal until January 1943 when he went to Melbourne, Australia with the 1st Marine Division. Marine Corps Commandant General Alexander A. Vandergriff presented the Medal of Honor to 2nd Lieutenant Page in Melbourne, and in June, Page was promoted to 1st Lieutenant. Page's Medal of Honor citation reads as follows. The President of the United States takes pride in presenting the Medal of Honor to Platoon Sergeant Mitchell Page, United States Marine Corps, for service as set forth in the following citation. For extraordinary heroism and conspicuous gallantry in action above and beyond the call of duty while serving with the 2nd Battalion, 7th Marines, 1st Marine Division in combat against enemy Japanese forces in the Solomon Islands area on October 26, 1942. When the enemy broke through the line directly in front of his position, Platoon Sergeant Page, commanding a machine gun section with fearless determination, continued to direct the fire of his gunners until all his men were either killed or wounded. Alone, against the deadly hail of Japanese shells, he manned his gun and when it was destroyed, took over another, moving from gun to gun, never seizing his withering fire against the advancing hordes until reinforcements finally arrived. Then, forming a new line, he dauntlessly and aggressively led a bayonet charge driving the enemy back and preventing a breakthrough in our lines. His great personal valor and unyielding devotion to duty were in keeping with the highest traditions of the United States Naval Service. Signed, Franklin D. Roosevelt. I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Recon Jack, and perhaps you've learned something new. Stay tuned for more episodes as I continue to explore the hallowed history, traditions, and individuals of the United States Marine Corps. 
Please feel free to like this video, subscribe to my channel, click that notification bell, and leave a comment in the section below. I always enjoy interacting with you folks and seeing the growth of this channel. Also, don't hesitate to tell a friend or family member or email me directly to recon underscore jack at hotmail.com. Until next time, Semper Five and carry on.